The child-free narrative sometimes gets entangled in regret and selfishness, blah, blah, blah. But today we are not going to talk about any of that. Instead, we are 100% going to focus on the perks of living a child-free life. We can't wait to share our list with you and stick around because there's some good ones that you may not have even thought of yourself. Hi friends, if you've been with us before, welcome back to our channel. And if this is your first time here, I'm Veronica and this is the Child Free Connection. My partner Rick is also very much a part of this channel, but he tends to stay behind the scenes doing the production thing and making the occasional appearance, which is why we call him sometimes Rick. Since we are celebrating perks today, Rick offered to make me one of his famous Rickaritas. <laughs> which of course I accepted and will be enjoying throughout this video. Now the funny thing is that Rick doesn't drink alcohol, but he has taken up this mocktail cocktail hobby and I am here for it. Before we count down our perks of being child free, the intention of the child free connection is to connect with one another through our individual child free experiences and have some fun. This channel is for inspiration, support, celebration, and education of living child free. It is for like minded people to explore the topics that matter to us most. Now, if that sounds like a community that you want to be a part of, please take a moment to like this video, click the subscribe button, and hit the bell so that you you get notified each time we release new content. Child-free living is not for everyone, and of course we honor and respect that, but Rick and I are thrilled with our choice and our lifestyle. So here are our top 10 perks of living a child-free life. Number one, stress-free weekends. Neither one of us is a fan of weekend obligations, so the thought of dance recitals and baseball practices and games, tournaments, kids' birthday parties really stresses us out. So when it comes to weekends, we ask ourselves, what kind of weekend do we want? And sure, sometimes we have friends' events, but that's generally a great dinner or a fun party where we know we're gonna have a good time. But if nothing is on the calendar, then we decide whether we want to plan something fun or Rick may push for his favorite let's do nothing weekend. Number two, our relationship gets a lot of attention. It's just the two of us here, well plus Eddie who's taking a nap in the other room, but when things aren't going right in our relationship, we have to sound the alarm because there's no kids to distract us or pull us away from whatever issue we're dealing with. It's so front facing that at least for us, we have to talk about it, dissect it, how can we do better next time and do our best to follow through. Also, we have tons of date nights and have a lot of fun together. We just had a balcony sunset pizza party the other night with wine and music, and it's just so nice to hang out together and catch up and chat. Another plus is that since your relationship is a main focus, if you are not in a healthy relationship, then you have the freedom to move on from the relationship without the pressure of worrying about how it affects the children. As you're watching this video, take a moment to comment below and let us know which perk you enjoy the most. We're curious to see what everybody's favorites are, so we're gonna compile all the answers and post them on Instagram. Number three vacation how, where, and when we want. Rick and I love to travel, and our destination choices revolve around the things we really love and enjoy. We don't have to worry about travel dates that coincide when school is out or look into family-friendly resorts with lots of kids' activities or on-site childcare. Even on travel dates, we get to the airport early, we hang out, maybe we have food, we relax before the flight. Also, while on vacation, we have these glorious stress-free days where we don't have to worry about keeping the kids entertained or calling home to check on them. Number four, flexibility to pursue and explore career goals. I'm so thankful for this one because I've taken full advantage of exploring different work opportunities. I've worked in large corporations, small businesses, startups, agencies, and all that experience led me to starting my own social media marketing business six years ago. Because work is such a big slice of the pie for Rick and I, not having kids allows us to really dive into our career choices and ask ourselves, are we happy? Is the work fulfilling? Is it worth the stress? 
Is it time to move on to something else? These are all really important questions that require lots of time and attention. Also, not having kids gives us the flexibility to try new things whenever we want, like starting this YouTube channel. So a quick side note here, if you haven't done so yet, please join us on our social media channels. We've been mainly hanging out on Instagram, so definitely follow us there, but we are easing our way into Twitter and LinkedIn and Clubhouse and everything else under the sun. But you know, I do social media full time for my clients. So until I can hire myself, baby steps. And by the way, it's almost 90 degrees here in Austin. I'm wearing a sweater and I'm drinking tea because Rick is freezing me out in the apartment, like he always does. Number five, being the cool aunt, uncle, godparent, or mentor. I love being an aunt, a godmother, mentoring kids. One of the first kids I mentored is now an adult woman with a kid herself, and she very lovingly still sends me these sweet messages about how I impacted her life, which is amazing. And also, if you ask anyone who knows me, being an aunt is absolutely one of my favorite experiences. My niece and nephew are now in their 20s, so hanging out with them is always super fun and easy. Rick has younger nieces and nephews, so whenever we spend time with them, we do both need to dig into our energy wells, but it's always fun and we love to visit and spend time with them as well. Number six, focus on self-love and self-care. This is probably my favorite one and the one that gets mislabeled as selfish. I love having the time to focus on my physical, spiritual, and mental health. When I'm not feeling well, it's doctor, herbalist, Reiki, yoga, whatever comes up, I have to explore it and hopefully find a solution to make me feel better. Another aspect of self-love and self-care is being present and being fully present can be challenging or at least it is for me. So it feels good not to be pulled into a million directions so I can focus on now. Focusing on myself and living in the present allows me to be a better person and contribute to society in a positive, loving, and caring way. Number seven, spontaneity. This is the best. No babysitter needed, no planning way ahead or around multiple calendars. We love having the option to pick up and go wherever, whenever we want. We can decide on a Friday that we're leaving the next morning for a weekend getaway, or if we're away, we can decide that we wanna stay, which we're actually famous for doing. We've done it so many times. But the bonus of spontaneity is that as much as we wanna pivot to go do something fun, we can also completely change our minds and decide to stay home and clean or do laundry, which is good too. Number eight, financial benefits. Now it's often said that people with no kids have more money, but obviously this is not always the case. Just like people with kids, a child-free person can lose their job, have a disability, have to care for an elderly parent, and so on and so on. So there's definitely no guarantee that you're gonna be wealthy if you don't have kids. But what I can say is that from our experience, because we don't have to pay for or worry about the large laundry list of purchases that most parents have, it is easier for us to save, invest, create a budget, set financial goals, and manage any economic ups and downs. This is something that we talk about a lot because when I see the price of, for example, the cost of a summer camp, I am completely blown away. Number nine, entertainment options. Okay, so I don't dislike kids, but I do dislike children's entertainment. I have a very, very, very hard time watching children's shows or movies. Besides the occasional Disney movie, Rick and I watched Soul a couple weeks ago and we both really enjoyed that. I thought that was super cute. I love that we can always choose adult movies. We see adult bands, we go to adult bars and restaurants, and we're both booty, so although I understand why people with kids need family-friendly dining, we have the option to steer away from places that give you crayons when you sit down. How do you feel about children's programming? The characters, the costumes, the bad songs? I have so much trouble dealing with it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Number 10, extra time. This is a big one because we do realize that having extra time is a giant gift. Obviously this isn't always the case with work because we both had stressful careers, but 
Having no kids does allow us more time to take up new hobbies or explore passions. I've taught yoga for years and Zumba on the side for fun. I love volunteering whenever I can. Rick is about to start taking rowing lessons and there was some recent mention of archery, but we're gonna leave that right there. We have time to sleep in or rest. We have time to clean up our place so it stays nice and neat. Time to go for long walks and time to do all the things that we already mentioned on this list. Thank you so much for hanging out with us during this video. You know, when we were thinking about this topic, Rick and I wondered if it would come out braggy to share all these perks. So we really spent some time thinking it through and we came to the conclusion that having pride and taking ownership of your decisions is foundationally a big part of why we started the Child Free Connection. Parents get to show off their kids all the time, their photos, their accomplishments, and they share family moments. So we should feel no shame in doing the same. We absolutely love our child free life and are honored to be able to share it with all of you. Please like this video if you relate to any of these perks and don't forget to hit the bell and subscribe so you get notified once we post our next video. We thank you, we appreciate you, and we're excited to see you next week. Cheers. <laughs> and making the occasional appearance. What are you doing? Oh, it's supposed to. No, not when yet. You said Rick? No, that's not what you're saying. Uh